My name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. In this video, I'm gonna talk about something really exciting, excitingly brutal. Having 22 interviews in four weeks. everyone as some of you might wonder what is it like to interview with 20 plus companies in one year today i'm going to tell you all about this incredible journey this incredibly brutal journey i will share some of my tips my insights and what i would do differently if i were to do it again so they can adopt some of those to optimize your interview process to make the best of your time and better prepare for your full-time design job hunting let's dive in Here's what my calendar looked like when I was going through these waves of interviews. Getting these interviews is great, but actually doing it might not be as fun as you imagine. Well, I guess it's fun from a challenging standpoint. These interviews include initial phone screening with the recruiters, second round, talking to the hiring managers, and on-site interviews. I was not treating any of those any differently because I have prepared beforehand for every single interview, aka knowing what I'm going to say or have an idea what I will say, what question that I will ask and what questions I can anticipate being asked by recruiters or hiring managers. Part 1. Why so cutthroat? First thing first, I intentionally squeezed all my interviews close to each other for a few reasons. Uh, not too close though. 1. To maximize performance. When you are doing all the interviews together in 2 weeks or 4 weeks, you will become more and more fluent doing interviews. You will know what you're going to say, you know how you're going to present, practice makes perfect. I know it's a cliche, but it's a really powerful, really useful, but always ignored truth. If you do 10 interviews in week 1, on week 2, you can notice how much more fluent you have become by just doing the 10 interviews in the past week. And then you will just become like a reflex. Your brain will go autopilot with the best answers you have and barely any thinking required. In the first interview, you might be like, my name is Justine. I, um, I graduated from Art Center doing, uh, I mean, majoring in... By the time you get to your 11th interview, you will be like, my name is Justine. I just finished my master's at Art Center College of Design, focusing on emerging technologies such as AR and machine learning, which is something that I'm really interested in and excited about. And before that, I was at Georgia Tech studying product and industrial design. It's a little exaggerated, but you get the idea. Two, you become more and more comfortable. You are saving energy because you were on autopilot. Not that one, but similar. Anytime a recruiter or hiring manager asks you to introduce yourself, it's just like a reflex, you don't need to think hard anymore. You basically recited your response fluently and naturally without memorizing your answer. 3. You save time. It takes time to practice, to rehearse, to prepare. If you spread out your interviews so far apart, you get more rest, yeah, but you trade off additional time required to pick things up again and also that optimal fluency, that autopilot. Therefore, I think it's more beneficial to do them together rather than sporadically. If you have a better idea, comment down below. I always want to optimize my interview techniques, so I definitely want to hear your new ideas. Part two, what would I recommend? If you could make it to on-site interviews, which is normally the last step of an interview process, first, congratulations. Here's what I would recommend only one on site per week as this will burn you out really quickly really fast faster than boat faster than flash you will go into that company's office to have a five hour interview well i don't think you will need a five hour energy at least i did not have it you will have back-to-back -back interviews with five different potential designers or product managers or engineers it's intense so intense that I did not sense the passage of time. But my body definitely told me that it wanted to go to sleep after the on-site interview. I fell asleep every time after an on-site while I was taking the Caltrain home. 
you definitely want one full day before it to prepare and one full day after it to rest. Part three, what would I do differently? In the end, I got three full-time offers, 22 interviews in four weeks is doable. Is my personal record? Do I want to break my record again? Sure. Would I do it again? Hmm, debatable. What would I do next time differently? Well, I would definitely spread things out just a little more, like ample time before and after an on-site. 22 interviews in four weeks, maybe a little too tight, as I feel like I did not have enough time to rehearse and prepare 100% of myself for each interview, especially for the on-site ones. Every time I feel like I just barely finished rehearsing, and then it's my time to interview. In an on-site interview, there will be a 45 minute presentation of your previous design work. Think about it, 45 minutes for a presentation. That means it takes 45 minutes to rehearse it thoroughly. And then you take notes here and there, you tweak it, you polish it, you change things, and then you go again, another 45 minutes. Your Sunday afternoon can easily be gone before you have one version that you like. So be cautious of time. All right guys, that's my brutal 22 interviews in four weeks journey. My experience was more or less specifically about interviews in Silicon Valley, but the approach and takeaways should be generic enough that you can apply them to your own adventure. With that said, thank you guys for watching. We find some useful and valuable information in this video. If so, transcend the like button for that awesome blue to show up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. This will help motivate me so much in producing more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better.